owls. Edward, the blue engine, was getting old. His bearings were worn, he clanky puffed along. He was taking twenty empty kettle trucks to market town. The sun shone, the birds sang, and some cows grazed in a field nearby. Come on, come on, come on, puffed Edward. Oh, 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 screamed the trucks. Edward puffed and clanked. The trucks rattled and screamed. The cows were not used to trains. The noise and smoke disturbed them. They twitched up their tails and ran. They galloped across the field, broke through the fence and charged the train between the 13th and the 14th trucks. The coupling broke. Seven trucks left the rails. They were not damaged. They stayed upright. They ran for a short way along the sleepers before stopping. Edward had felt a jerk, but didn't take much notice. He was too. He was used to trucks. When Gordon and Henry heard about the accident. I laughed and laughed, fetch allowing cows to break his train. They wouldn't do to that to us. We'd show them, they bastard. <laughs> Edward pretended not to mind. But Toby was cross. You couldn't help it, Edward, he said. I've never met cows. I have, and I know the trouble they are. Some days later, Gordon rushed to Edward Station. Poor poop, he whistled, mind the cows. <laughs> he chortled, panting up the hill. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, Gordon. Don't make such a fuss, don't make such a fuss, grumbled his couches. They rumbled over the viaduct bridge and roared through the next station along a straight stretch of line laid ahead. In the distance was a bridge. It had high parapets each side. But it seemed to Gordon that there was something on the bridge. His driver thought so too. Well, Gordon, he said, and shut off steam. Pooh, said Gordon. It's only a cow. Shoo, shoo. He is moving slowly onto the bridge. But the cow wouldn't shoo. She'd lost a calf and felt lonely. Gordon stopped. His driving fireman 
and some passengers tried to send her away, but she wouldn't go. So they gave it up. Presently Henry arrived with a train from the other direction. What's this? he said grandly. A cow? I'll soon settle her. Be off, be off, he hissed. But the cow just turned and mooed at him. Henry backed away. Don't want to hurt her, he said. Drivers and firemen's and passengers again tried to move the cow, but failed. Henry's guard went back and put detonators on the line to protect his train. At the nearest station, he told them about the cow. That must be Bluebell, said the porter thoughtfully. Her calf is here, ready to go to market. We'll take it along. So they unloaded the calf and took it to the bridge. her calf happily and the porter led them away the two trains started not a word keep it dark whispered Gordon and Henry to each other I felt rather silly but the story soon spread Well, 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 chuckled Ten Cents. Two begins is afraid of a cow, said Sunshine. Whatever next, would you lot be afraid of? <laughs> laughed Grampus. Yes, what they said, said Edward. Afraid? Rubbish, said Gordon. We didn't want the poor thing to hurt herself by running up against us. We stopped so as not to excite her. Do you see what I mean, my dear Ten Cent Sunshine Crabs and Edward? Yes, Gordon, I said gravely. Gordon felt somehow that Edward and Ten Cent and Sunshine and Grandpa saw only too well. And that's the end of this week's story. Bye bye.